Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson number 7, um, Bizum Tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to work with matrices. Um, matrices are used in demand models to store zonal interaction data. So, we have two type of matrices in general. Um, one of them is related to the supply part and one of them related to the demand part. For example, in the supply part, we have a skim matrix. Um, in the demand part, we have an OID matrix. So let's talk very quick about the supply part, okay? So usually we call them, as I mentioned, skim matrices. And these skim matrices, they save a travel impedance or travel time um, and they are usually will be used as an input for the trip distribution or maybe the mode choice procedure. And the other part we have the demand data or the demand uh, matrices, um, which are usually the relationship between the O's and D's in the model. And these matrices are the input for the assignment. So let's start with showing the matrices in VZOM. Uh, I will go to view, okay, and here, matrices. And this is the window here. We have a big tree that says all matrices, demand zone data, okay. So these are the OD matrices that related to the demand data, as I mentioned. And then we have the scheme matrices, which are the supply part. And these things could be either the travel time, impedance, walk, distance. Um, if you are going for the transit um, uh, modeling, they could be the number of transfers, fare, and so on. So if I double click on, before double clicking on this matrix, we just put the cursor here and we will see that it says it's an OD demand matrix type and it has a demand segment C which is car and has the sum and the diagonal. Um, in order to save matrices and open them, okay, um, you can easily just click here, right click and save to file. And let's say I'm going to save it here with name of car. And the matrix format is MTX. And you can choose the other types as you like. In here, there is the matrix format, OK? The, the, the one I prefer to work with is the binary format, OK? You can check the manual, visa manual for the other formats, what they mean. But I prefer the binary format, OK? And it's the same thing if you want to open um, a matrix an external matrix, you can easily go to demand matrix editor and open external matrix. And I will go to this matrix and it will come here as an external matrix. This matrix will just be used for viewing and some calculation, but you cannot um, assign it to the network unless you convert it to a data matrix. Okay. Um, so let's just work with some matrix manipulation. Um, I'm going to open the matrix here, which is car, double click. This is the matrix, it's 21 by 21. This is the size. And here is the data inside my matrix. This is the total of production of the origin, total of traction in here, okay. So um, let's edit some um, values. Uh, as you can see, we have here the simple basic math operation. OK, uh, here I can assign a value. So I can say that this matrix will equal to this matrix. And if I click OK, it will assign it. OK, 
I can come here for example to the cell and right click and I go to automatic operations and add and I, I can use all the math here okay for this specific cell or for those specific cells okay so let's come here to this um, to this column here I'm just going to like that and set value I can go for a constant value okay so I'm going to say that's a 50 so everything became a 50 okay um, addition subtraction multiplication and division can be done as well okay and you can get the power you can get the exponential it is just the normal math so just like go here and say what is the value you want to like a raise it to the power of another matrix or just a constant value okay so it's the same thing for all of them if i want to subtract i can subtract this matrix um, from another matrix or just by a constant value or i can just load the matrix and get the results but they should be in the same size 21 by 21 okay i can use even um, an attribute that i have okay it's like a zone attribute or a network attribute okay so there's another useful thing that we can work with here which is matrix filter okay and it is up to here so if i click on this filter I click yes i can filter my matrix by many different ways one of them is filtering by active zones so if i have a filter here let's say here okay i can filter them by the active matrices so let's say what do i have here if i list the matrices my matrix number ranges from 6 to 30 so i'm going to the filter here and I will say matrix number. Okay. And the limit is going between 10 and 21. Okay. So these are the active matrix from 10 to 21 by number. I'll click OK. Then I'll go to matrix. I can take it from here. I can take it from this list. So I go here and I filter the matrices by the active zones so you can see that the matrix size now gets smaller because 10 to 21 are the only active matrices okay i can add another condition by matrix value so maybe i want to say matrix value from range from 20 to 80 filter them and you can see that the range from 20 to 80 has been active and everything else is in a different color or it's just a gray um, this could be useful later when you went to check your matrix um, to make it easier for you okay um, there is another useful thing that usually we work with which is matrix aggregation and as far as I know, you cannot aggregate um, a demand matrix. Actually, you can aggregate it by some method, and there is another method that you cannot aggregate with because aggregation has different ways to do it. One of them is here, coming to the network. And since I have, if I go, if, if I go to the heat, to the zones list here and just right click, there is aggregate active zones okay it will delete your assignment and it will play with your matrix your data matrix that has been assigned to the network so what does that mean if i want to aggregate this matrix which has been assigned to the network um i need to go here and say aggregate matrix by active zones okay uh, i need to filter the zones and aggregate them Sometimes I don't want to do that. I want to keep this matrix as the original matrix and it's already assigned, but I want to do some additional work externally. So usually we create 
a new um, external matrix. For example, here I just saved it and I called it back. So I'm going to close this matrix. Okay. And usually I will go to demand matrix editor and generate an external matrix. This is just an empty external matrix that I will give them a name of AGG for aggregation. And the matrix will, will have the same um, zone dimension. And here I should click on this one, transfers or numbers and names. So I click OK. So this AGG is a, just an empty matrix that what I will do with, I want to aggregate number seven, which is number card. So I will go right click here and set values. So set values of this matrix card to this matrix. So now I have another copy of it. Okay. So here I can play with my matrix without adjusting or affecting the original matrix. Okay. So now I want to aggregate this matrix. So what does aggregation mean? I have a 21 by 21 matrix. I want to say zones from 6 to 20 will be in one zone. So it's just summit. So aggregation is just summation of um, some zones. So I will have bigger zones. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult for you to see um, all of these numbers here and to understand what is happening. But if I convert this matrix to, let's say, three segments or three big matrices, it will be easier for me to understand what's happening. So if you want to aggregate, you should go here, aggregate. And I will go to create. These are the zone numbers here. So let's say I will click on this. So you can see here that the action is aggregate. The new zone is number 31. And this zone has inside the old zone, which is 6 to, eight, six to 18. So 6 to 18 will be 31. There will be some. Let me do it to the other ones. This will be 32. And the rest will be 33. So I will have just a 3 by 3 matrix. That sums all of these. The matrix total is going to be remain the same. So I click OK. And you can see here it's a 3 by 3 matrix. And now it's easier to read. Let's say this could be the east of the city, the, the, um, the downtown of the city, and this is the other side of the city. So you can see, for example, from, from the west or from the east, to the downtown, you have this much of trips internally, externally, or you just can make it um, internal, external. Um, so, I mean, it can be used in different ways. Uh, the last thing, uh, if I just come here, the last thing is that I want to show you is the projection. Okay. So, usually we sometimes we need to project our matrix with some either target values or um, or some factors. Okay. Um, usually these procedures are used in the um, tip distribution. Um, if you want more information about um, projection, which is usually we call it singly or doubly constrained, you can just refer to the book done by the Two amazing guys, um, Orthosar and Wormson, Modeling Transport, chapter maybe um, four, I think, which called strip distribution. So just go to strip distribution in this book, and you will read about singly and doubly um, constraints. So if you already know these um, things, you can go to projection. So what I want to project, I want to project with a target value, okay? for singly or doubly constrained. Um, usually we will, usually if you do singly constrained, we do it for production, or you wanna make it a doubly constrained that you want to adjust your um, production and attraction together. So let's do the singly constrained 
introduction okay and here I I can see that this is my zone this is my value okay this is my projection value and everyone here is projected to one okay so the value that I'm going to put here for the zone number six should be here as in total so let's say I'm going to put 900 okay so the production value which is 752 here should be equal to 900 as in total and this 900 will adjust all of these values here by some ratio so that the total is going to be 900 okay so as I said the theory behind it or how to do it um, in, in details it is mentioned in this book okay so you can put um, the, the same projection values for the other um, zone okay so maybe if I put 900 for all of them you, know, you can just copy and paste So, 900 for all of them. So, hopefully, um, we will have a solution that makes them all of them as a 900. Sometimes the target value or the projection value is very far. So, you cannot get um, the exact number, but usually it will happen. So, I click OK, and you can see that everything here became 900 except this one probably you forgot to make it as a 900 you kept it as one so everything became 900 here and if we go to this matrix here okay so you can see that the values have been changed even inside the matrix uh, I, I used to have in this row of 50 okay and i just can't type 50 here so this was my old um, row for this zone. I have 50, 20, 110. And if I come to the uh, new values, it became 59, 23, 131. So everything has been increased by some percentage. So as total, we'll get 900. Okay. So, so far, this is it for the matrix. Um, edition. Thank you.